Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be looking at a small garden tour. It has been raining for the past few days and the grey clouds have almost covered the morning sun. However, the garden looks as stunning as ever. This is the hanging basket arrangement with the turtle vines, the impatience and the begonia. With this we can say that hanging can be fun. This is the agave planter with the begonia highlighting its blue tinge. Beautifully interspersed and living in harmony. This has been kept under part sunlight conditions. This is the poinsettia raring to go and waiting for the winter months. This is another hanging basket arrangement. with their stunning flowers and the hanging and trailing turtle wine. This is my tropical zone where the emphasis is on the foliage and look at these tiny surprises, the rain lilies, welcoming every drop of rain during the season. The white enhances the greens of the foliage. This is the exquisite, magnificent palms. This is my hibiscus zone, enjoying the season and the bounty it brings. Stately and elegant. So let me tell you that I am using a new camera and the picture quality is much better than my earlier one. My trailing lantana, stunning, no, not invasive at all. So here I have to give you a small update. You would remember in a small episode I had sown a seed of the Hemanthus multiflorus and this is the result. A quick update on this. So it's very simple to propagate the Hemanthus multiflorus or the football lily. And look at the seed for this year. So kind of produces one seed in the entire flower because it needs a lot of energy and you can see the roses are doing really well these are the fragrant roses you don't even have to go near them it's absolutely stunning this is the corn flower an annual that was grown from seeds So this weather is really good to prevent powdery mildew and thrips. So as you can see, the thrip infection is under control because of the rains. The thrip infection, the powdery mildew, all these things come especially during the dry season, dry, hot summer seasons. And when it rains, it automatically cures itself. Look at how these flowers are doing without the thrip infection. Radiating its positive energy and the stunning fragrance. The adenium is not blooming. And the 
rest of the stunning roses. Some remnants of the trip infection. Now let's move on to a section that we don't really concentrate on. So this is the Pyrostegia venesta vine that is hanging and waiting for the winter months so that it can put up a show. This is the dahlias and look how stunning and beautiful the flowers are. The powdery mildew is almost gone. lot of annuals interspersed with the perennial plants like Bogan Villa the Bogan Villas really look good during the winter months however it blooms the whole year. This is a small arrangement of the orchid that I have and I will show you how to make this arrangement in another episode. A stunning star jasmine absolutely fragrant Thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if you like these videos then please subscribe. Thank you.